A Fridley family is mourning the loss of their 24 year old son after he was killed in a fire last night. Fire crews were called to the 300 block of Hugo Street Northeast around 8 o'clock last night. That's when they arrived and they found three people outside safely. One man who was sleeping upstairs when it broke out died in the fire. Mary McGuire joins us now live from the scene of the fire in Fridley with more. Mary. Well, Kim, I'm told that the fire damage inside of this home is extensive, and we can see some of that from the street here. You can see that there are boards covering up some of the windows and also some charred remains of the roof there. Investigators have been here all morning long, combing over the scene and trying to piece together exactly what happened. The father of 24-year-old Donnelly Wasserman tells me it was his son who died in the fire last night. Known as DJ, he worked as a supervisor at a local Walmart store and loved music, hockey, football and watching movies. Fire investigators believe this fire was sparked by cooking oil in the kitchen and later spread to the living room. Wasserman was sleeping upstairs during all of this and was found dead after that fire was put out. Fridley's fire chief tells me anytime a life is lost in a fire, the entire department feels it. It's very emotional. It's emotional for the firefighters. Uh, you know, the firefighters that are, that are on the scene, they're, they're trying to get in, they're trying to save this person. And uh, of course, you know, you, uh, when you can't, it, it is, it affects everyone. Now, Chief Berg also says that this tragedy serves as a good reminder for folks never to carry a pan out of a house if there is a grease fire. If you can't control the flames and don't have a way to put it out, Berg suggests leaving the home immediately and calling 911. Now, the remaining family members that were living inside of this home, they are staying with neighbors right now. I'm also told that a dog and two guinea pigs did die in this fire, Kim. All right, Mary McGuire, thank you.